Hello, Judge. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Who's this? Yes, Daisy Dunn, please. Lovely. Okay, when you're ready, Daisy, you may start. I'll sound the horn. Thank you. It'll be a beep noise. <laughs> Girl. Luckily we're nice and sheltered now. Felt like my hat was gonna blow off at one point. To the right. To the right. Good girl. <laughs> well, if Riley can jump it, Finn can. Hello, Finley. Oh, you poor thing. You've been in all on your own. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby.
internet. Finley and I are just out for a nice little hack. Today's just a chilled one and um, we had a nice kind of half hack, half schooling session yesterday. Worked on our canter a lot. She got very sweaty because it was hard work but she was really good. She worked so hard um, and she was really really forward which was nice because in our one day event the other day, um, that was like four days ago now, um, it was a really lovely day but she was lacking a bit of energy in her canter in her dressage test so that's why well we still got a really really nice score um, we got 28.5 which was awesome uh, and she got some really nice comments but her lowest marks being like sevens were her canter and I think it's because she was just lacking a bit of um, kind of forward motion so she was a little bit spooky at the arena. Luckily, we made a little fake one here to give her a little uh, taster of what it was going to be like. But she was still a little bit scared um, because, you know, it's a new environment and stuff. So she kind of shrunk down a little bit and went a bit slower. And obviously, I don't have a whip. So I kind of just needed to give her like one flick just so that she was like, oh, OK, forwards. That was all she really needed. But obviously, you can't do that in a dressage test, can you? So yeah, like I just wanted to make sure that she was moving forward nicely um, away from my leg because she wasn't really listening to my leg as much as I wanted her to in the dressage test. But other than that, we had such a nice day. I was so pleased with that dressage result. I couldn't believe it. That was the first test we've done in like a year. So very, very pleased. Um, and then we had a really nice clear show jumping. Um, in a spooky arena again uh, and then we went on to the cross country we had a really good time but she was quite spooky going out on the course um, we haven't done a cross country competition in a while so she kind of didn't she wasn't that willing to go away from the other horses which is fair enough it's not she doesn't often do that so going away from the horses a bit is a bit unnatural to her um, and it made her quite spooky at all the fences. Um, I didn't really have any problems until we came to the ditch um, and it just took her by surprise to be honest. It was just an open ditch um, and I think she maybe got distracted by... Good girl, it's alright. She maybe got distracted by the jumps that we had to we had to go in between two like just rails that the classes above us were doing and she was looking at them like whilst we were going through the middle really concentrating on them maybe she was thinking that we were going to be jumping one of those instead and then she kind of got to the ditch and was in a bit of a heap anyway and then just uh yeah i just i wasn't able to get her thinking forward again and then i oh there's a cart <laughs> So yeah, we got to the ditch in a bit of a heap and then I kind of, not really knowing how to ride cross country to be honest, because I never do it either, uh, I stayed where we were thinking, oh, she'll probably jump it from a standstill. She then caught sight of something in the woods, I don't know what it was, so then was like stuck on the spot just staring at this thing. So then that made us have two stops. Well, it, to me it doesn't seem like two stops um, but that counted as two stops at the same fence so then when I represented her she jumped it so I felt like we only had one stop but obviously the jump judges saw it as two stops because we were there for like quite a while and that meant that we got 60 penalties like it's so costly to have two stops at the same fence. Even one stop at one fence on cross country is so costly. We were like last in our class, so that was annoying. We would have got placed if we went clear cross country. <laughs> so we went from almost being placed to last place. <laughs> 
But either way, like she jumped really well. And actually after that, she kind of got her bum in order a bit. She was a bit more confident. I think she kind of knew she was on the way home. So yeah, other than that, it was a really, really nice day. So yeah, I can't wait to do another BE uh, event next year. <gasps> Her Troy is so big right now. <laughs> Can't keep my hands steady. Good girl, good girl. Come on. Shot done. Shot done. <laughs> good.